Hello, I'm Joe Beatty, and I'm going to show you what my plein air backpack is. It's nice and compact, which is the way it should be, because you're going to be carrying it with you and you want it as light as possible, but you need everything together in one place. A simple school backpack like I have here is the easiest way to go. I'm big on not spending too much money, saving as much money as you possibly can. In the art world, there's really just three things that you got you have to buy that are quote-unquote art supplies. Paper, paints, and brushes. Almost everything else you can find substitutes for. And the nice thing about that is once they put quote-unquote art supplies on the, on the particular product, they triple or drastically increase the price. So to save some money, we try to cut corners wherever we can. So I just have this school backpack here. Got it at Walmart on sale. I think I paid about $20 for it. For my water bottle, bottle because I paint in watercolors, just a very simple um, soda pop bottle. The main thing is it's got to have a good lid. If the lid doesn't work, get rid of it. That's really all there is on the outside. Let's take a look at what we have on the inside. Here's the one area. I have um, a water dish. This is for camping. You can extend it like that. I never do. I just keep it like that. And um, a towel so you can dab your brush on and control your water. Uh, I've got this one at Bass Pro Shop, as you can see. Um, that's also where I got my water bottle. Um, just some paper here to keep the wet towel away from everything else. Then these are just mostly pens and brushes, just some standard ones. Uh, these pigmographic pens, I have a collection of those, different size nibs on them. Um, this is the one, number one, which is what, one millimeter I believe. And I have a just a number two lead pencil do all my sketching with with this this is 0.7 um, nothing special about it just like you would use as, as if you were in grade school uh, an eraser retractable eraser again multiple pens a couple different inks one or two in white um, I really haven't used these very much mostly just the pencil uh, and once in a while the Pigma pens. Uh, here's some more Pigma pens. Just buy them in sets. That's usually the easiest way to go. Let me see what else do I see down here. Okay. Uh, pans. These are, this is an old set. These are old wax crayons. Um, I'll have to try those, experiment with those. I bought them, but I haven't used them. All right, so that's everything I have there. Let me put this back real quick. Keep it all nice and tidy. And then I'm going to show you this compartment up here. A um, little microphone kit. That's a few odds and ends. A pair of scissors. Uh, extra pair of reading reading glasses. Uh, what else we got here? Oh yes. I love this stuff. This is a watercolor graphite, art graph. There it is, brand new. This We'll talk about this later. This revolutionized my watercolor art using that. Okay, so there's a new tin of that stuff. And another set of reading glasses. Um, okay, just odds and ends. Um, Plug-ins here for... Electronic devices, binder clips, binder clips, refills for the lead, um, pastel, uh, refills for the erasers, chalk, pastels, a couple different forms of it. That's all that is. Okay, yeah, binder clips, pencil sharpener, little knife, little, kind of like a little Leatherman, just in case you need it. Multi-tool, always good to have. 
And that looks, feels like it. There's some more binder clips. There you go, binder, up, oh, another pencil sharpener. Okay, so that's all that stuff. Just odds and ends I've collected over the, over the, the years. And I, I'll put that one in there. Which one is that? That's that. Okay. That in there and that in there. Extra rubber band. Close that up. I'll leave that out. I need these elsewhere. All right, so now we've got the main. And here we have my brushes. I like these aerated ones. I know they look like you're making sushi with it. But these are these uh, air brushes let the air through. Um, you know, that way it dries out your brushes. And it keeps the bristles straight. I have my Ron Ranson Hake brush here. This is a small. I dated it when I bought it. See, I cut the handle off. I nickname it my carbine hake uh, for cut down version. Uh, this is the smaller one inch, one inch one. Uh, Ron Ranson is an English artist. He's passed away now, but he wrote his whole series of books uh, that are really good and very helpful to me in getting started in watercolor. Other than that, there's nothing special. Just a nylon three quarter inch, nylon half inch. Um, this is a sword dagger. I was just cut it on an angle. That's a nice one. A quarter inch there, half inch, half inch. Uh, you can see I've used this a lot. I push the brush a lot. Liner brushes in the United States, or riggers, as they are called in Britain. For many of these are a little bit longer. These are a little bit shorter, but. Um, they get the name from the British for painting the rigging on old sailing ships. A graphite pencil. I hardly ever use that. Just a little scrubbing brush and just another small um, number seven um, brown brush. Nothing, nothing in particular there. That's it. It's the brushes that I have. I'll roll them back up again. Put on my rubber band. All right, there's that. And now my watercolor journals. Oh, whoops! First, oh, I love this. This is my my travel palette. Walt Disney made these for children after the Second World War up through the late 60s. This is out of the early 1950s. My Donald Duck paint box. He had paint boxes and he had crayon boxes. They're the identical same box, except the crayon boxes. Just say crayon. But other than that, they're the same box. I open it up here, and you can tell I've got full pan sets. Uh, here's my watercolor graphite again. You can tell I've used a lot of it, and I do use a lot of that. And then just regular full pan sets with uh, one's magnets, one side of which has adhesion, and then the other just as magnetically, as you can see, clicks it into the, the little box here. The clearance is just fine. I've got, what, 14 colors, I think, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, um, 14, 15 colors. Um, and I love it. This, nothing in particular, nothing fancy, fun to use, obviously well loved. I've got to have a, a um, rubber band to hold the lid shut, but it's fun. I like it. Got a lot of character to it. I had to straighten it out when I bought it. Got it off. They have these periodically on... Etsy or eBay, and I think they're wonderful. Um, then I have some a custom-made leather journal that is made by my artist friend um, Becky Fields. She makes these, and in my resources page, I'll show you where I have um, a link to her so you can get one if you'd like one. Nice leather cover. She hand sews the, the binding. Makes me feel like I'm with Lewis and Clark on their travels across the American continent. And in here, nice arches, top quality, 140 pound. This particular one is 
uh, I believe, this cold press, a cold press, um, eight by 10. And she does a nice job make, make, making these up for me. So there's that, a nice high-end journal. And then a more modest nine by 12 journal. This is my next children's book. I've been working on some sketches here for the book. Uh, as you can see, I do these out by hand. Uh, and the main thing when you're buying this, if you make sure it says watercolor paper whenever you're buying your paper. Don't let it say mixed media or suitable for water media or something like that. It needs to say watercolor paper, at least in the United States. Uh, 9 by 12 is a great size. You can tell it fits right in here. And it gives you plenty of area to work. And that should be work just fine for you. And furthermore, a spiral bound. That way if you, you can do this. You can flip it over and then work like that. And it keeps your pages together. So that's that. And really that's everything I have. I'll put this stuff back. And that's all there is. I weighed this on the scale. It's coming in at seven pounds with everything you see here, including the one-third full of water bottle and that's everything so you can keep it light just keep a few things together and that's all you need and thank you very much